97 people are now in hospital with the virus, up five from yesterday, and another 386 in quarantine. Two lower mainland care homes have infections, including the Tabor Home in Abbotsford for the second time and Pine Grove Place in Richmond. Outbreaks are now over at Queen's Park Care Center and a French language school in Kelowna. Coming up, we'll have traffic and weather together on the 1. News 1130 time, 920. Vancouver's breaking news, traffic, and weather station. News 1130. Smart Target from Shaw Business helps you launch personalized marketing campaigns so you can keep your customers coming back for more. Like Jake here. Hi. Let's say Jake likes colorful socks. I do. And you just got some excessively neon numbers in stock. So, Smart Target sends an offer to Jake. Ooh. And anyone else who likes blinding people with their ankles. And bam! You've got all the Jakes out there looking like fashion-savvy traffic cones. Nice. Brighten up your store's marketing. Smart Target from Shaw Business. Can we reduce greenhouse gases and still be cozy? We absolutely can. Because at Fortis BC, we're exploring new opportunities and technologies for the next generation of energy-efficient homes. It's just one example of our plan to help reduce our customers' greenhouse gas emissions by 30% by 2030. See how we're rethinking energy-efficient heating and more for British Columbians now and for future generations. Visit fortisbc.com slash 30 by 30 and get cozy with your conscience. That's energy at work. It's 921 now to the traffic center. Here's Riley Phillips. And we're taking a look at the east-west connector. Yeah, still slow. Eastbound 91, there is a vehicle incident with a semi east of the S-curve. Police have it blocked off at Nelson Road. And so the line of just to get to that point is stretching all the way to Knight Street now. You're going to not want to sit in that. That's an extra hour's wait. Use the Mousy Tunnel. That looks great. No delays north of south 99. Uh, Highway 17 has worked for the area by the 91 connector. And they're also under the Portman causing heavy delays. An extra five or ten minutes tapped onto your drive time there. Highway 1 looks great. That's the best route tonight. No delays from the Port Man to the North Shore. Upper levels, the Ironworkers, the Lionsgate. No delays whatsoever. Uh, traffic's brought to you by 604 Fix Leak. If you have water where it's not supposed to be, call 604 Fix Leak. Leak detection, plumbing, roofing, basements, any leak, anytime. Experienced with insurance claims. 604 Fix Leak. Now for the forecast. The five day, we're going to go to the Penfolds Roofing and Solar Weather Center. Here's Michael Coos. We are finally getting back to the sunshine, and the timing is spot on with that sun stretching all the way through the weekend. It's not going to be scorching, but it won't be unbearable, although frosty in the mornings on Saturday and Sunday, minus one early Saturday, minus three early Sunday, and minus two early Monday. Daytime highs through that three-day run up to about seven degrees. Tomorrow, we're nine degrees under a partly sunny sky. Now, as we head into Monday late day, we're back into the cloud cover chance for some evening showers, those showers stretching in into the overnight and into Tuesday morning. Could even see some wet flurries at some higher elevations, but it's not a very strong system, so we're not talking about major precipitation one way or the other. In the Penfold Roofing and Solar Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Michael Coos. Seven right now for the Valley, six for YVR, downtown Vancouver. It is six degrees. When you can't listen to traffic on the radio, get your updates on Twitter at News 1130 Traffic. And now a minute with Bill Good on News 1130, brought to you by CapitalDirect.ca. Watching the U.S. election results coming in over the past two nights and into today, I was struck by one thing about...